Yes. Okay. Welcome to Newman Circle. So I want to introduce myself first because some of you guys have no idea who I am and you like this girl I kind of just sent me to this random girl who just turned up times 20. I will tell you this. I'm always turned up. So if you ever need to pick me up, hop on my training because I don't know, God just really equips me to when I come here, I'm on. Like I'm on regardless of what's going on in my life. I'm on. Um, so I'm grateful for that. Yes. So grateful for that. Um, so my name is Rachel Wiggum. I am your ambassador diamond leader. So actually what I want to show you guys in this moment is what in the world does that even mean? But I am your ambassador diamond leader, which means that I've hit the top rank in the entire company. And I'm about to pull up a chart. And if you've never seen this chart before, uh, I, re I really want you to think about this. Like think about when coming into it works, like what in the world do you really want to do with this company? Um, it means that I've hit the top rank, the top paid rank in the company, uh, which is insane. I've only been here seven years or almost seven years. I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Um, so I've only been here seven years. And I have went up to the top rank of the company. My husband is also a distributor. He has been, he was actually my first distributor ever. He started off as my customer, saw that did not make sense. So I up, upgraded him to, he was my boyfriend back then. It was easier to just make um, two checks. And so I call myself hashtag two, team two checks. Um, so I've actually built to this, the, the top presidential, my husband's a presidential diamond. So we've built to presidential twice. And then we took his mom's account to double diamond. So we've actually went to double diamond three times. And then I will be going double diamond this month on my new account because it works is so amazing that they give you the opportunity to once you hit the top rank, you can start all over again and get another check because they crazy. Okay, so you can go to Ambassador Diamond and then start all over again and go to Ambassador Diamond all over again because that is just amazing, right? So um, I want you to kind of look at this chart, but I started for Ruby. Um, I only said yes because I was a single mom who was robbing Peter to pay Paul and I needed a way to make some extra income. And so I said yes to It Works. I didn't know that it would become something so much greater, but I'm so grateful that it did. Um, so I am a wife. Um, I've been married to my husband almost six years. I um, have three boys. I have a 13 year old, a two and a half year old. And if you don't know Zayden, you will. Okay. Hang around me long enough. You're going to know who Zayden with him is. And then I have a six month old. He's actually six months today. Oh, baby. Um, so it's crazy. If it wasn't for it works. And I mean, if it weren't for Jesus, but it works played a large part in the fact that I have three kids and not just one because my husband and I dealt with some infertility issues. I'm going to tell you what, we've made a million dollars in this company, cash money in our bank account, not just a million dollars in sale. Our team does a million dollars in sales every single year, a million plus in sales every year, but we've made a million dollars with this company. So just to kind of give you some credentials of who I am, I'm committed. I show up every single day. Our team mantra is be brave, be patient, be consistent. And so you will hear across all of our trainings and our Zooms and our power hours that that is the gist of what we do. Be patient, be brave, be consistent. We'll be brave, be patient, be consistent. Um, that's, if you can do that and continue to show up, be consistent day in, day out, be patient and know that your reward will come, Galatians 6 and 9, then, um, and we are led by Jesus, okay, that's, we put God first, like, God, God first, because I don't want to go first, I just, if, yeah, I'm, I'm Moses, I need streets, if God don't go before us, we ain't going, I, you won't see me going, so, I mean, if you're going to follow me, I'm not, I'm following Jesus, and that's it, and I've been, been in business full time for, with It Works for six years, so I've learned a thing or two, and I just want to give it to you, I want to give you guys everything that I have, so, Welcome to the team. We are so grateful to have you here. So grateful. So we're going to jump into it. Um, just so you know, I kind of want to give you some things. If you are not in the Money Squad team page, not the boot camp, but the team page, we want to make sure that you get connected to that page. Feel free to message me. You can text me, but it's better if you message me on Facebook. And I am going to check my other inbox. Um, my, it's just Rachel Wiggum. And I can add you or if please tell your enroller, tell your enroller. And if you're not able to get in based on your enroller, then go ahead and um, allow me to add you, but I need your actual Facebook name. So if you add me on Facebook 
And if you can't add me because I have too many friends, it's just because I work my business consistently. So just send me a message and I'll get you in so that we can get you into the team page. It's really important. We have right now this month, we are doing a newbie um, power hour training. Um, every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesdays it's at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Thursday it is at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then of course we have Newbie Circle every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So there's different opportunities um, for you to jump in, get acclimated to everything, learn something new, learn from a new leader about what it is that we do. So um, I'm so excited to have you. So there's many, many spaces for you to come in and get the juice. And this will be up on my YouTube right afterwards um, within the <laughs> I do have three kids, so, you know, kind of give me some grace. Um, so within a few hours after Newbie Circle, it will be up on my YouTube page. So I'm so excited about that. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I want you to drop in the comments one thing about you that no one knows. One thing about you that nobody knows. So like, people don't know that I'm double jointed. <laughs> like, do you see this? I'm double jointed. <laughs> The reason I'm asking you this is because when it comes to us working from home and utilizing social media, you're going to have to be okay with being you, okay? This is a big deal, and I know a lot of people struggle with this a lot in the beginning um, because, I mean, when you go into the workplace, I don't know that it's glorified to be an individual. You know, they want you to do what it is that you are um, what they want you to do, right? Like they, it's by the book, but you get paid to be you and be your best self. So I want you to start, who are you? Like, who are you? And I always say, we say it's five different things, right? And we, it, cause it's like, well, what do I post on my social media? I don't even know. Like, I don't even use my social media and y'all want me to use the social media to make money. And that's okay. Like, it's okay to jump in and be different. If I want to be a ballerina tomorrow, <laughs> But I'm just saying, if I wanted to be a ballerina tomorrow and I decided I was going to go on YouTube and I was claiming of being a ballerina, because you are a business owner, okay? You're a business owner. So if I wanted to be a ballerina tomorrow and claim that, I'm going to start talking all things ballerina. And I, it's okay that I want to be a ballerina. So you are a business owner, okay? You, are a, you own a whole business. So today, it's okay to be somebody new on your social media. You have permission. You have permission. And if people don't like that I want to be a ballerina, that's fine. Click on follow because I'm going to be a ballerina. I'm not real life, but y'all get what I'm saying. It's okay. Let me use, give you the perspective of this. When you have a baby, well, let's go to when you get pregnant. When you get pregnant, you're a new person, right? So now you're going to be talking about all things baby on your timeline because you're about to be a mom. When the baby actually comes, it becomes times 12. Because now you're about to see all the new pictures, all the, the, the motherhood, focus on the good. We always focus on the good. We never post negative. When you have something negative in your spirit, you probably need to go journal first. So if you don't have a journal, that's number one, buy a journal today. I don't care if you just got to use a notebook in your house, you need to start utilizing a journal because you want to be able to communicate things to God before you go to social media or anybody else, including your spouse and all that. That's something that we will talk about all the time. And we hope that you grasp hold of that. Um, so that because when you go onto your social media, it always wants to be forward thinking, always positive, always positive. You can be real and be positive at the same time. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with being real. Um, but you always want it to be forward thinking, um, forward thinking, because now you're a business owner and people buy people, not product. So I want you to think about these five things and know that it's okay. A new mom, I blow up social media about my kids. Why? Because I love my kids. And number two, I fought hard to get them. Like I worked hard to get them. And if you don't like the fact that I go live with Zayden or my baby screaming in the back of my life, guess what you can do? Unfollow me. So be unapologetically you. You're not going to stop posting pictures of your baby just because somebody said, oh, she posts that baby too much. That's fine. You can unfollow me and get off of my social media because somebody wants to see my baby because there is other moms out there who are looking for a way to make money in between nap times, to make money in between play dates. They, they are looking for that. And there are people that are specifically out there for you, okay? You, you, 
There is somebody out there that, it, that they don't want to sign with Rachel. They want to sign with you. But if you're not willing to be you, they'll never come into this business. Okay? So be you. So let's talk about five. We're going to go over five things. And it's okay. It switches up. You can tell me five today and it may, it may change tomorrow. And we have some leadership and some people who have been here in, for a while. And they're going to actually drop their five in the comments. Um, so top five, what are five things that describe you outside of being this business owner? Cause now you have a business. So outside of being a business owner, what are five things that describe you? For me, it's motherhood. And this has changed since I first started it works hands down. It's motherhood. It's marriage. I'm obsessed with my Kappa. Okay, let me show y'all. So obsessed. Okay, do not judge me. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> we have the same tattoo. And I did that before I was married. Y'all just pray for me. Okay, but I'm obsessed with my husband. So motherhood, marriage, my fitness, because I like to, I, I actually love to work out. Even though I haven't done it in the last week just once, but I still love it. I love to work out. Um, I love to empower people. Like, I love it. Like, I love to be everyone's hype man. I love seeing people walk in the purpose that God has for them. And then number five is I am obsessed with Jesus. Like, I'm obsessed with him. Obsessed. Like, that's my homie. So you will see that on my social media. Like, that is it. When you go to my timeline, it works as what I do. It's not who I am. I use these products. I am a customer of It Works. I just get paid a lot of money for being a customer and reviewing their products. You can't get paid a lot of, of money for reviewing and being, so let me just say this. So for example, so you're saying, I just started, Rachel, I didn't review nothing yet. That's fine. You're going to review it. You're going to review it. So you're going to try the skinny brew, even if it's not your thing, so that you can tell people about what you felt like and how you felt and what it tastes like and things like that. But that doesn't mean that that has to be your product, but you still want to know about the product so that you can sell it. Okay. So here's the thing you, me being a customer who shares, so who shares my results, it's like, let's just say I got an email right now from Grove. Anybody heard of Grove? I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use Honest Company. Honest Company, okay? Honest Company sells diapers and a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's just say I was a distributor for Honest Company. Guess what Honest Company is going to do? They're about to send me a product. I'm going to get paid to share it, right? Because that's what we get to pay to do. I'm going to get paid to share it. So Honest Company is going to tell me, oh, we got these diapers coming your way, um, blah, blah, blah. I might even have to pay for them. I'm just getting paid. Oh, Jesus, that's a word, because if Honest Company would do that for me, because I already share their stuff, and they don't pay me a dime, nor do they have a referral link. But anyways, that's besides the point. Honest Company sends me diapers. Do y'all know, every single month, I get excited to go in and update my auto ships and see the new prints. And I, I be like, oh, my, my kids get donuts. This They're going to have donuts on their booty this, this month, right? And I'm sharing it on my social media, and I'm excited before I even get the diapers. Okay, and I'm sharing about my excitement. Honest Company has integrity of their products being all natural. I don't use their, there's some things I don't like, but because I love the company, I'm not going to speak negative about them. I might not use the product, so like I don't use their lotion and things anymore because my, my kids need something um, that's thicker for their skin. But I still think their products are high integrity. And if somebody was looking for a lotion, I would send them over to Honest Company because I know there's integrity in their products, right? So I can still make a recommendation for them based on, and especially if I'm getting paid on it. Oh yes, use Honest Company. If you're okay with a thinner, um, a thinner consistency to your lotion, you should absolutely use Honest Company, right? They align with my morals and values. It's the same thing when it comes to this business. So even if I haven't used the product, I'm excited. So not only am I finding a coffee that is natural, has natural ingredients, has nootropics in it that are scientifically proven. It has a scientifically, improved, scientifically proven ingredient. So now I'm excited to help all my friends switch over. Hello, Honest Company. My kids don't get diaper rashes. They may be irritated, but that might be because they diaper be on too long. Don't even judge me. But I love Honest Company product. I, through three, it's been three years I've been on an auto ship with them. They should pay me. 
it's the same when it comes to other products. So that's how I want you guys to kind of look at this. It's okay to be excited. It's okay for this to be something new and who you are and what you do. You have to put your blinders on and block out the negativity and decide today you are a business owner. Now, let me tell you this. I'm going back to my ballerina. I'm, I'm trying to be a ballerina here, right? And I decided today, I'm just using this as an example. Don't be looking at my page talking about Rachel, where your ballerina post, okay? Don't play me like that. But I decided today I'm a ballerina. As I start to post, if there are people who have negative comments about me becoming a ballerina, either because they don't understand, people fear things they don't understand, guys. It's ignorance. Ignorant is not a bad word. Ignorance just means that they don't understand. People fear things they don't understand. My son has me, like, I don't know. We, he has to watch educational stuff. I know all that YouTube stuff. Like, we're not doing it. So he has to watch educational stuff. And so he's been watching about these zookeepers in Australia. And I fear the fact that they be in there with lions. Okay? I fear the fact that they go into... Um, uh, uh, mm, in, enclosures with snakes, big anacondas, okay? They're crazy to me. So your mama might fear the fact that you started a business because she ain't never did a business ever in her life. They don't want you to be hurt. Ooh, that was a good analogy. Because I'd I be looking at them zookeepers like, get out of the cage. What are you doing? What if they snap? But guess what? They are trained or being trained by somebody who does that. That's not my business. All I'm supposed to do is just watch and enjoy it. And so I need you guys to understand that it's their job to watch and enjoy it, but if they don't understand it, that's not your problem. You just continue to do what you're doing and learn what it is that you're supposed to learn. If, if zookeepers never learned what they, they needed to learn, we would have no zookeepers. There was a lady who, who, who nurses koalas back to life. You'd be like, girl, get a dog. Like, no, she, that's what she does. She nurses koalas. That ain't your business. I think it's pretty cool now, actually. So hopefully that was helpful. Yes. I'm excited for you guys to jump into this new business. I'm excited for you to own the fact that you are a business owner, okay? You know what, drop in the comments, I'm a business owner. Because right now I need you to own the fact that you are a business owner. And if people do not understand that or they're not a business owner, then that is not your issue. You don't have to be mean about it, but you're not gonna take advice from people who aren't business owners when now you are a business owner. Okay, so congratulations and welcome to a life full of limitless possibilities when it comes to it works. Okay, yes, love that. All right, so I want to make sure that you guys have some apps on your phone. And then I also want to, I'm actually going to close out all of this so you guys can see all my stuff. Um, to kind of operate your business and work it in a easier way close your apps if your phone is running slow it might be because you have a million and one apps up like rachel wiggum so of course you want to have the zoom app downloaded um, you can utilize the zoom app to connect with your new distributors because you know you can't physically go over their house you can create account and make a zoom account for free and you get 45 minutes of a zoom for free so you, it's just zoom.us you can download that and you can use that to connect with your distributors on your own personal code and you can kind of play around with it. So if you're looking for a way to have a meeting space for your new distributors and connecting with them, use the Zoom app. It's just like going over somebody's house. Um, do that one-to-one -one connection. They sign with you and it's okay to figure it out together. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to, when I say figure it out, I mean like explore it together. Explore it. You don't have to figure this out. We have been doing this, come on, we're seven years and we're solid, okay? Seven years solid. We've been a top income earning team for six years of the seven. Come on, Jesus, he's faithful. So don't feel like you have to recreate stuff. Be okay. Hmm. I want you to drop this in the comments. I relinquish my pride today. If you don't know how to spell relinquish, the first person is going, I, you're not even going to say relinquish, okay? I'm not going to be... I let go of my pride today. How about that? I let go of my pride today. And I'm going to explain this. 
And I'm so glad I'm saying this on Movie Circle today because some people don't even realize that we, we may have some pride issues. Let, let me give you some examples of how you might have some pride issues. Um, have you ever, okay, I'm gonna talk about myself. Have you ever uh, came home with all the groceries and you got somebody in the house that can help you, but because they didn't open up the door and come and help you, you was like, I'm fine, I'm just gonna do it myself. Instead of saying, hey babe, can you come help me with the groceries? <laughs> but you, you drove because it's like, when you see me drive pulling, you knew I went to the grocery store, you see me pull into the driveway or pull into the garage, you heard the garage, and then you saw me, like, you heard my door close. Come out here and help me with the groceries, <laughs> right? You, you might have a case of pride, okay? You could easily say, hey honey, hey babe, son, can you help me with the groceries? I need help. People who are prideful don't realize that they are not willing to ask for help. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, most of us have grown to not ask people for help because of how people responded when we asked for help. So today, I want you to let go of your pride and be willing to allow us to help you, okay? And I know that might be a rough thing because anybody like let's just be honest for a second can you drop in the comments me if you've ever had problems asking for help and it don't even have to be in this business it just can be in life in general you're not alone i i've been doing this for seven years and i struggle to ask for help and i have to check myself every single day that god put people in my life to help me and we are strengthened in community when we have help and one person will not ruin the fact that people want to help me. I will not allow one person to ruin the fact that people want to help me. So do not, you will waste time trying to create systems when we already have systems in place. Okay. So let us, thank you guys for being honest. So let us help you. Okay. Let us help you. Okay. We got it. Like we got it. And we are committed. So anything that is outdated, if you feel like there's something that may have helped you more or provided more clarity for you, we want to hear it. And maybe I'll create something that we can just have a suggestion box. I'm going to do that today. You write that down. Because the suggestion box will help us understand how proficient our team vault is. So that when you plug your distributors in, you know they have everything that they need. And if something is not clear to you, then nine times out of 10, it's not clear to somebody else. They're just not brave enough to ask for the help. So going back to our team mantra, be brave, be patient, be consistent. And so we're counting on you to be brave, patient, and consistent so that we can have a well-oiled machine. So, so the app, to, so this is another perk of um, Zoom, you can actually share your screen. So you can actually walk through and show. And I'm gonna tell you guys this, you wanna know the easiest way to, learn, to, to become a, a master in something? Do y'all know, does anybody know the easiest way to become a master? Teach it, period. And you know, you, you know, I remember when I first started praying out loud in front of people, because <laughs> me and Jesus, we'd be having some conversations, right? The first time I ever prayed out loud in front of people, I was like, oh my God, I can't do this. Like, what do you mean? Like, what if I mess up? And it's like, what if you met, like, what, what if you mess up talking to Jesus? Like having a conversation? And it was like, Rachel, how do you become good at something if you never do it? Huh. Be brave, be patient. Be consistent. So if somebody wants somebody to pray, I'm a volunteer. <laughs> Me. Okay. Figure it out. And then you'd be like, oh, okay, Rachel. <laughs> you went too long on that. You didn't follow it. Yeah, I can critique myself. But I can't critique myself if I don't ever do it. You'll never be good at something you don't do. That's a word for somebody. You will never be good at something that you do not do. All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Okay, so let's talk about some things that are going to help you rock this month out the park. Okay, 
If you have not, these are the three It Works apps that I use. The three It Works apps that I use. So It Works Connect, that middle one is It Works Pay, that last one is It Works Sample. Because I am, actually, I'm gonna pause this. Let me tell y'all something. It's okay to be you. A lot of people are like, well, what do I say? Well, what would somebody say to you? This is what, so when you, when you find yourself saying, what do I say? I want you to ask yourself, what would have somebody have to say to me to make me say yes? When you're wondering what to say, I want you to ask yourself, what would someone have to say to me to say yes? What would someone have to say to me to say yes? If somebody put up a post and said, who drinks coffee? That's not gonna hit me, cause I don't drink coffee. Well, I do now. <laughs> but I don't drink coffee, like I'm not a coffee lover. I drink coffee because it makes me skinny and it gives me, now let me tell you what, for me, this is Rachel. I don't know about you, you know about you. I don't know about you, you know about you. So for me, if I saw a post that says, who wants to drink natural coffee and be a super mom? I got three kids, okay? So I'm gonna comment on that one. And I'm gonna say, me, girl, help Jesus right now. Where do you want me to send my money? That, that spoke to my soul. But who wants to drink coffee? No. Nah. Now, will I make a post to say who wants to drink coffee? Yes, because I want the coffee drinkers. Because it's very easy. And I can say, hey, three-day sample, you'll never go back $20. You need this. Less is more. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Okay, I'm telling you, you can jack it up and you gonna still make $20. And ain't even no such thing as jacking it up. It's just learning. You're just learning. What I tell you guys before, you can't learn it if you don't do it. And then what's so crazy as your mentorship, your enroller or whoever is going to say, oh, I love that post. Oh, you know what? If you added a little twist to it this way, it might actually even be better for you because we're here to coach you. We can't coach what you don't do. That's like saying, hey coach, I'm trying to be number one in the game for three th for, for free throws, but you don't ever shoot them. How your coach gonna critique a free throw when you ain't never shot a free throw? So we can coach what you do. So guys, be okay with being you. And if you want to, Bible says two is better than one. That's what the scripture says. So go ahead and send your upline and be like, hey, I'm gonna make this post, what you think? But we can't steer somebody who's not driving. If you start driving, yeah, awesome. That makes sense. All right, so let me go back to this. So again, I'm gonna go over this one more time. So to get the link, you're gonna go, uh-oh. So make it a goal to send five samples a week. Make it a goal. That will make you $65 in profit a week from cash. 65 times four is, $260. Who joined this business for an extra $300 a month? Anybody? That is one way we get paid. Five samples a week. Make it go. If you don't hit five, you hit one. So <laughs> that's great. Something is always better than nothing. So one way we get paid, guys, one way we get paid. 
All right, so looking at the next app, I Connect app, you should be opening it every single day. Here's the thing, Rachel, I ain't signed up with customers yet. That don't even matter. I want you to be in the habit right now that you run a flourishing million dollar business. Even if you're doing it part time, you can consistency compounds. So when you're consistent, it can exponentially grow. So you're gonna have million dollar habits. And one of the million dollar habits is every morning opening up your office, right? You need to open your office. It's like go actually physically going into your office and unlocking the door and looking around and seeing what you have in place. So yes, what Brittany said in the comments. So you're gonna open up your connect. Um, I, I didn't record most of that, sorry. So the, the easiest way to, to figure that out is to get paid. They'll send you an email. So you'll get an email that says, hey, you, you're, you got some money in your portal. Another place that you can go and see, I would actually show you guys this, but I want you guys to be freaked out about how much money that you can make in this business. But if you go into eSuite and you go to, there's tabs that are at the top and you click commissions, you'll see if you got paid or not. And that loads every single week. And as you get on the emerging leaders trainings, after you kind of go through the newbie ones, and you pick. If you're a newbie, but you say, I work hard and I learn all this stuff, and you want to go on the emerging leaders um, power hours or in trainings, hop on there and learn the juice. You get to pick. They happen co concurrently. They happen at the same time. <laughs> so, so pick one. If one week you want to get on one and you say, okay, I, I think I, I can handle the higher level juice, then you get on the next one. Awesome. All right. So utilizing your resources is gonna be very important, guys. So using your sample app, using your eSuite, using your Connect app, but not feeling overwhelmed. And so you wanna implement some habits now. One of the best ways that I like to implement habits is to set alarms in my phone. Don't work this business by chance. Be intentional. So right now, you can do it while we're talking, or you can wait until we get off of here, but go set alarms now. Set an alarm for Newbie Circle that goes off 15 minutes beforehand. But if you know you and you need to be reminded the night before, then set that alarm. Set alarm for the, it's 11 a.m. Central Standard, 10 a.m., excuse me, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Thursdays. Every day, if you guys don't know this, every day at 11 a.m., and 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Sorry, I'm Central Standard Time, so I always talk in terms of Central Standard Time. Um, there is a, um, I'm gonna actually show you guys. There is, and we do it together. So you can send people to the link if you want to, but we actually do a presentation for you guys on, um, on, on this Zoom code. So this is like the team Zoom code. But if you know your alias, it's whatever you pick. So some people, it's your first and last name or whatever they did for you. Um, so mine's is I love me. It might be your first and last name, .itworks.com. And if you need help finding your, your website, if you log into eSuite, log into eSuite, go to the settings tab and click website. And you can see your website alias. You can also change it. You can see it and change it. But this is my actual website. But if you go to I love me dot it works from home, you can actually send this website to people. But I suggest sending them to our Zoom. So every eleven every day, Monday through Saturday at eleven a.m. and seven p.m. You can send them here and we're actually going to moderate. Let me tell you why to send, you, send them to the Zoom. Send them to the Zoom because they're going to see other people on here hyped up, sharing their stories. They're going to see the community of our team and it's that we're going to help you close them. So where they're not just on here watching um, 
watching a live by themselves. You yeah, get what I'm saying? So they're not just on here watching a live. They, it, cause let me tell you, <laughs> when you see other people winning, you're like, okay, they went into, I'm getting in, sign me up. Okay, yep, sign me up too. I, we, I'm about to do this with them and I'm not gonna miss out on the blessing that God has for me. So send them to the Zoom. Every day, y'all, 11 and seven. And don't send them to your website at 11 o'clock on the weekday for sure. Send them to the Zoom even if you can't come and then follow up with them afterwards because it's not in our language. <laughs> it's not in English. Um, I do want to tell you guys about a few other sites that you have that you might not have known. You have your alias dot not botched, just beauty. And this is our full Dr. Nassif. It's not Botch Just Beauty, and somebody's gonna put that in the comments for you. But it's, and y'all, I use this. This is million dollar products, thousand dollar products for the low. And right now, all of these are two for 49. So they can get our lash and brow serum for $49. You can't, unfortunately, I'm sorry. It's only for our customers. And it gives an extensive explanation, explanation of all of our products. Buy to and save. So this is another website that you have. All right. So I hopefully I've given you guys a lot of information today that makes you, and it's not even about information. It's about the yearn and desire and giving yourself permission to work your business. We do, let me tell you, we do five things every single day to work our business. And it don't even sound right because it's like, do I really need to do that to work my business? Yes, 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 okay? Five things every day to work your business, every day, and take a day off, <laughs> okay? And you're not going to tell see most people to hear you, most people won't say that. But I'm telling you, take a day off. Like I told y'all last week on Newbie Circle, if you went to your job 24 hours a day, seven days a week, would you still like your job? No. And your phone is in your hand 24 days a week, seven days, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay? And you can schedule posts because if you want to still maintain your presence, you can use apps to schedule posts. So you, you maintain your presence on your day off, but you can enjoy your family. Because I do this so that I can, I can spend time with my family. I do this so I can have my freedom, right? Not to be um, trapped in, anyways. So five things, guys. We post consistently. I say as a range, post 10 to 20 times. If that's too much for you, then don't. And I'm not saying post 10 to 20 times on your wall. That's in your stories, using your stories and using your wall. And what do you post on your wall? You're five. And mix in some before and afters and some other people's stories and things like that. I, there's somebody on here. I love how she shares the team wins because she's on a winning team. So even if it's not in your organization, share it. If somebody on the team promote it, go share it. Save their picture and put it on your wall and be like, somebody on my team just went Ruby. They did. <laughs> It shows that they, it can be done, okay? So five things. We post, we message. Uh-oh, somebody had messaged me. I hope they got in. Oh, she didn't get in. Sorry, guys. Zoom. Oh man, sorry. I'm gonna put the recording up. <laughs> okay, we post, we message. So that's between your stories and your page. We message. I'm gonna say I'm gonna switch it up. We post, we follow up, and we message because the power is in your follow up. The follow up is more important than the message. Well, I mean, you gotta clearly make a message to follow up. But you following up with your mama like, hey, mama, I'm excited today. Are you, let's go ahead and get your order in. <laughs> Even your mama. Remember, you are a business owner. 
Hashtag nice but not needed, okay? Hashtag nice but not needed. If your mom and them do not sign up as your customer, it's nice but it's not needed. So if mama don't sign, you're still going to be a millionaire, okay? My mom's not a, a distributor or a loyal customer, and I still made a million dollars. You'll survive. I will survive. For real. We post, we follow up, we message. You're going to do your spiritual development and your personal development. Every day, y'all. I don't care if PD and SD are five minutes. Do it. You can listen to somebody on YouTube. Eventually, you're going to stop eating baby food and, and, and you're going to do meat. But if you need to start with the baby food, start with the baby food. Okay? And you read one scripture in your Bible and you know that Jesus wept, somehow God will allow that to help you for today. Okay? It says meditate on his word day and night. So if you got one scripture, you meditate on that thing. Okay? But every day, that's what you do to, in order to build your business. So I'm so excited that you guys decided to get on here on today. And I'm hoping that this was beneficial. I wish I could have recorded the entire thing um, so that everybody could have got all the juice, but I didn't want to share my, um, my people's information on the World Wide Web. So um, any questions? I actually have maybe time for one question before we hop off of here, if anyone has a question. And I'm telling y'all, like, just trust us. Trust. Yep, trust. I was about to sing another song for y'all, okay? But I'm just not going to do it this morning, okay? Just need y'all to trust us. Trust us, trust us. Trust that we are doing everything in order to make this the best system that you've ever been a part of. And knowing that, I will tell you that you are a piece to the puzzle, okay? You're a piece to the puzzle. There's a reason why God brought you to this team. Yeah, you know, I had a conversation with somebody the other day and she was saying how, and, and we don't want you to, we want you to do what works best for you. But she told me, she said, Rachel, when I came into this business, I was not necessarily ready to build a business. She said, but because you guys, how you function, I was able to spend eight, well, I think, I don't know how many months she said, but a couple months becoming my best self. And in the matter of two months, I've double promoted and now I'm ready to go diamond because she kept coming around. She kept, she got the system, the consistency she needed. And guess what, what you do in one area of life is what you do in every area of your life. You may not believe it, but I'm telling you, and it's the truth. So if you're inconsistent in your business, guess what you're also inconsistent in? Your marriage, your parenthood, your working out, and everything. And if you stick around, if you stick along, if you stick around, help Jesus, y'all pray. If you stick around with us long enough, you will become brave. You will become more patient and you will become more consistent and it will change every aspect of your life. And you know what? You might start believing in who God made you to be. Not even in the person that you are right now or who you're allowing people to believe that you are right now. You're going to believe in who God created you to be. So I'm excited for you guys. I'm going to pray real quick, and then we're going to hop off of here. And if you want to, you can stay on and send some messages and tell your people to hop on for the 11 o'clock um, for the 11 o'clock um, opportunity zoom. I'm so excited. Oh, y'all gotta y'all gotta stay on because Marwa she just went double ambassador, and we're going to hear her story today. It's going to be lit. <laughs> Woo! All right. We're gonna pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we're just grateful for you being our God. We're grateful for this space, God. We're grateful for each and every person that said yes. We're grateful for each and every person that continues to show up for the leaderships who hit the comments and helped us out and answer questions and um, provided clarity. God, we're just grateful for this team. We're grateful for what you're doing through the Money Squad. We're grateful for you being our God. And we're excited about what you're about to do over this next week and how we're gonna bring more people to the table. So we just love you so much and we honor you in Jesus' name. We pray. 